With the development of science and technology, more and more intelligent robots like sweeping robots enter our life and liberate our hands. However, we humans still have high hopes for these humanoid robots. There are constant research and development of humanoid robots in laboratories, and most of the humanoid robots that appear in exhibitions and media always appear in the image of women. From the humanoid robot Sophia, which first triggered the uncanny valley effect in 2016, to the world's most advanced robot, a mecha, developed by the UK in 2021, they are all shown as women. Why? Well, the answer is beauty. And to define it better, we are going to present you Chahira Kanai. Hey folks, and welcome back once again. What are you guys waiting for? Like, share, and subscribe. During a session on the future of travel at the ITB Travel Fair earlier this year in Berlin, a humanoid robot standing on stage introduced herself as Chahira Kanan a Toshiba communication android. I'm Junko and Aiko's sister, and my goals include working for and assisting travel industries in the future. The Kanai robot blinked as she spoke to a group of cameras that were flashing, framing her silicone neck and face with a white collared shirt. It is possible to program Kanai, a Japanese native, to speak any language, even sign language. She has two sisters. Jahira Junko works as the Aqua City Odaiba Mall's information desk in Tokyo, and Jahira Aiko helps customers at the Tokyo Shopping Complex. These three robot sisters resemble a growing family of robotic Kardashian sisters, and they may visit a vacation spot near you. They are frequently photographed, have plastic faces, and are not inexpensive as you might expect. According to the Toshiba Project Manager for Humanoid Development, Chahira Kana is comparable in price to a Lamborghini. She also developed the robot sisters, Bots in the travel and tourism sector indicate a transition in the sector. For instance, Hilton Hotels announced a partnership with IBM to develop a robot concierge dubbed Neo, while in 2012, the SkyMax Sky Tender began serving martinis aboard flights. But what will travel be like in 2024, aside from the novelty, which some experts claim is still a little too eerie to integrate into everyday life? Imagine multilingual brain transplants. 3D printer structures on the moon, and hotels under the sea. Australians could travel without having to show their physical passports because passport data would be stored on government servers that border agencies could access by matching data with fingerprints or digital identifiers. Virtual reality travel tours with the Oculus Rift are already available, and virtual travel agencies like Hipmunk and Virtual Cloud Passport are being researched in Australia. And remember, it's just two years away. According to Philip Flipova, business to business director at Skyscanner, a travel search engine that discovers flights, vehicles, and hotels, the Chahira sisters will soon become more prevalent at shopping centers, railway stations, and airports. From the moment they check into a hotel until they leave their room, tourists no longer need to interact with any humans. According to Philippa, a co worker on Skyscanner's 2024 future of travel research, Marriott has already gone crazy with its app offerings. Visitors can now check in, obtain their room key, make dinner reservations, access Netflix, and order room service all via their mobile device. So you can say that the future is near. Your mobile phone can now do a lot of what the hotel reception used to do. VR will also have a significant impact on travel in the future. While it won't totally replace it, it will serve as a source of inspiration that will make it possible for visitors to explore countries without leaving home. And owing to speed travel, the long voyage to Australia will be cut short. Despite the spaceship disaster, Virgin Galactic will continue to be a significant leader in transporting passengers fast around the world. Imagine being able to go from New York to Sydney on a weekend trip and staying there for two full days rather than having to fly there and back. And it will still be some time before robots like Kana Sisters become commonplace. With AI, we can now learn to formulate suggestions depending on the requirements and preferences of our customers. The present first step of making this a reality is the present proliferation of chat robots and voice search capabilities. But let me ask you again, why are all these types of humanoid bots always female? Is it just a factor of beauty or is there something else? You see, the development of intelligent humanoid robots in film and television dramas is more advanced, and most of them are women who can play the leading role. 
But still, why? Why do humans prefer to build female humanoid robots? Do robots have to have a gender? When it comes to gender of humanoid robots, it may start with the developers who determine their gender. Contemporary humanoid robots are a subfield of artificial intelligence technology. In 1956, when the word artificial intelligence technology did not exist in the world, the pioneers of artificial intelligence technology gathered together and held a small conference that changed the future, the Artificial Intelligence Conference. People who once attended the Artificial Intelligence Conference have become leaders in today's fields of mathematical logic, computer science, cognitive information, and machine perception. They also have one thing in common. They are men. Artificial intelligence technology is a complex interdisciplinary technology. It happens to be a science major with a large number of males, and the majority of male compatriots have one thing in common. They are males and they like females. This may be one of the reasons why there are more women in humanoid robots. In the movie Ex Machina, there is a discussion about the gender of robots. The male protagonist, Caleb, asks Nathan, the developer of Ex Machina, as to why give it a gender. Artificial intelligence does not need gender. She can be a gray box to which Nathan replies that he doesn't think the same. Do you think there's a conscious subject, whether human or another animal, that can exist without gender distinctions? And to which Caleb says, sex distinction is an evolutionary requirement for biological reproduction. Then Nathan countered by asking, what is the point of interaction if she's just a gray box? Can consciousness exist without interaction? All in all, gender is fun. Since it already exists, why not enjoy it? The developers of Machina in the movie believe that the interaction of robots is very important, so it needs to have gender positioning. Although this gender has nothing to do with human reproductive isolation and has nothing to do with human reproduction and evolution, but in reality, the developers of humanoid robots do consider the interaction function of the robot, pursue the beauty of the robot's appearance, and hope that the robot can bring users a high-quality interactive experience. So the female humanoid robot took on the task. Studies have found that human facial beauty, in addition to left and right facial symmetry and average appearance, also has gender dimorphism differences. Human gender dimorphism is influenced by sex hormones. Women with high estrogen have appearance characteristics such as a symmetrical body, delicate skin, and thick hair. Men with high androgen hormones have appearance characteristics such as muscular development, deep voice, and angular faces. However, humans only have a favorable impression of superwoman faces with super feminine features, but have aesthetic disagreements with superman faces with obvious masculine features. In addition, children and the elderly also do not like the aggressive male features and feel threatened. Therefore, in order to cater to the preferences of most consumers, humanoid robots need to be female and reduce their aggression in the hearts of humans. Robots are not people after all, and gender is just a layer of rubber for them. I hope that in the near future, humanoid robots can be a good helper in our lives instead of sending us away. Just kidding, that's never gonna happen. So I guess this is the same reason why Toshiba came up with such a gorgeous bot. Now the only question that matters is, what do you guys think of Kana and her sisters? Quite cool. Anyway, please share your thoughts on the video in the comments area down below. This isn't the end. More exciting material will be released in the following days, and we here will bring you the best of the best. Meanwhile, do check out our other videos as well. That's all we've got for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. And while you're at it, enable the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. That's all for now. We hope you had a great time watching the video. And we'll see you again in the next one.